There is a generation of people who are growing up right now who, when they hear the idea of money of the internet, by the internet, and for the internet, think that this is the most natural thing, that this is how it should be. Because the internet has been something that has given them freedom, or as long as they remember. Ironically, by the time the next generation reaches the age of 16 and acquires finally the right to open a bank account, they may have already been using digital network-centric currencies like Bitcoin for a decade. Because six-year-olds can open a Bitcoin account, two-year-olds can open a Bitcoin account, because you don't open an account, you just download an app. So what happens if, after a decade of using digital money on the internet that is instantaneous and global, you go and open your first bank account, and you have a conversation that involves an explanation of why the system operates only from Monday to Friday, nine to five, why it takes three to five business days to execute an international transaction, and why, for the privilege of having given a loan to the bank, of your own money, you will be charged five Swiss francs a month and given no interest. And when you explain that to a 16-year-old, they'll look at you as if you've just asked them to send a fax. The world has changed. But this is not something to be afraid of. This is a tremendous opportunity.